Hey guys, today we are going to talk about anti-aging and makeup tips that I'm going to share with you on how I make myself look five to 10 years younger. Yeah, you can do it too. It's not hard. Um, I mean, 10 is kind of hard. <laughs> But you can do at least five years younger, maybe maybe 10 if you really do it right. But um, once you're in your 40s, it is a little bit harder. So you have you can't really look at all of those makeup videos. I mean, you can. I like to look at all the makeup videos. But if you look at those of all the very young girls, it's kind of difficult because it's much easier for them. They can basically put anything on their face and guess what? They're going to look fabulous. But once you get in your 40s, you have to be kind of strategic, but you can still look super trendy. You can make yourself look younger and makeup's the way to go. Okay, so I'm going to give you all my tricks and tips today. So let's, let's just do this. The first thing you need to do is make sure you prep your skin. You guys have probably heard it before. When you wake up in the morning, number one, when you go to put your makeup on, I want you to take, take to have two spoons, put it in your freezer before you go to bed, Take those spoons, put them under your eyes. As you get older, the under eye circles are difficult. It's Your eyes are puffier. You gotta get rid of that and you can get rid of it lickety split with those two spoons. Or like if I'm in a pinch and I forget, I'll just take ice and I'll put it in um, a wet paper towel. I'll dampen the paper towel so I don't, I mean obviously you don't wanna put just ice straight on your skin because <laughs> like the little kid with the tongue on the flagpole in the cold, no, we don't want that. Put them underneath your eyes, set them there for a little bit. It's going to help tremendous. Once you do that, you're gonna prep your skin. I don't wash my face in the morning because I do a whole routine at night. If you haven't seen my routine, check it out. In the morning, I just make sure I splash water on my face. I mean, if you want to do a little mild cleanser, that's fine, but you really shouldn't need it. But I just make sure I splash some water on my face because I am going to use my serum, the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. I love the Ordinary brand because it's completely affordable and it's an amazing formula. It's going to trap that moisture, so it's going to make your skin look plumper. You should never, ever apply makeup without this first. Then I always use vitamin C. Vitamin C concentrated serum, and it also has hyaluronic acid. You can never get enough of that, trust me. These two, the same ones I use at night, which Matrixyl Synth 6 and Coenzyme Q10 Serum. It's summertime right now. It's in the winter like the Retin-A, the prescription strength Retin-A, because it's summer. I don't think that's a good idea. You're in the sun a lot more than you think. Even if you were sitting home and it's quarantine, the sun is stronger, even coming through your window. And you're going to run the risk. You're gonna get discoloration on your face, and that's exactly what you don't want. I don't do that unless it's winter. I live in Florida, no way. Boom, use these. You're then gonna put your moisturizer on. Olay Regenerous, I use it morning and night. It's micro sculpting cream, it's fragrance free. So we all know the benefits of sunscreen. Botanical sunscreen tinted face. It's 50 SPF, but it's also bronzing your skin. And I'm gonna tell you guys right now, you wanna look young, tanner. Not, don't go in, not, not real sun tanning, but self tanner. Australian gold. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to put on this moisturizer, wait. Go get yourself some coffee, do something. Then put on botanical sunscreen tinted face. It's gonna give you this glow, this gorgeous glow. So wait like five minutes at least in between your moisturizer and this. Once you get this on, wait some more. If you go in immediately right after with your makeup, you're gonna get that weird flakiness and your makeup's gonna look crazy and nobody wants that. You wanna look young, be bronze. You're going to wanna use a primer. Now, not just any primer you want a hydrating primer. Because as you get older, your skin is not as hydrated, you're not producing the same oils you did when you were younger, so you don't want any dry patchiness. You can't use as many powders as you get older. I'm sorry, like that's how you look older, is by using a lot of powders on your face. You wanna use the least amount of powder as possible. So how are you gonna get your makeup to stay all day? Well, this is one way. It's a Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer. My number one go-to is Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. You can obviously see that I use the heck out of it. It's a hot diggity dog mess. This is my go-to. If I'm going to work, 
I'm going to use the L'Oreal up to 24 hour fresh wear. I don't want to use anything too expensive and it's actually amazing. Um, another one if I'm going to be out in the sun is it CC Cream 50 Plus. If I really want to be snatched, I'm going to use Giorgio, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Ooh, hmm. That's for my nights out. So when you are applying your foundation, that's the trick to looking super youthful, is you want to use your fingers first and then a beauty blender. Now, whenever I use a makeup brush to apply my foundation, it just looks more texturized. I've tried every technique there is under the sun. And when I use my fingers first to apply and I just kind of get my foundation in like this, and I take a damp beauty blender and bop, 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 little little bounces like this bounce it all over your makeup is going to look great it is the trick to having beautiful youthful makeup you start off with tart shape tape and i just make a little triangle triangle nose here here and here don't forget that that's where we start getting hollow right here tart shape tape and light medium sand then i put my foundation on then I put Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. And then that kind of brightens it up a little bit more underneath your eye and a little bit on the tip of your nose, a little bit more here and here, and you're going to look fabulous and bright. It does not settle into wrinkles at all. You're gonna love it. You really wanna stay away from the powders. The powder settles into your lines. It usually has some sort of sparkle in it. And that is what ages you because when people are looking at you in real natural light and they are up close to you, it starts to reflect off of your skin and it really does highlight lines. So the more cream product, the better. So let me talk about some of my favorite cream products that I think you will love. When it comes to highlighter, I would not use a powder highlighter unless you're going out at night. This is what I use. Brilliant Eye Brightener Stella by Thrive. You could just put a little bit more in the corners like this and the tip of your nose after you contour it. And if you want, if you want that highlighted look, I'm not big on it. So you could just kind of like dot it right on your cheekbone. I mean, I'll do it right now just so you see. I don't do it very often, but just kind of go like this. Okay, if I'm gonna use a highlighter, it's going to be a cream highlighter. This is like a beautiful cream crayon, I love it. Another cream product that's amazing is a Nude Sticks. In the Nude is the color. Cream all over face color. I use it on my lids, I use it on my cheeks, the middle of my nose, and you can even use it on your lips if you'd like. It's called Nudies, it's an all over face stick dot 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 I mean I can't get enough of this stuff I already applied my makeup and I put more on I don't even care I love it it is just gonna make you look instantly younger and nice and rosy just this beautiful young rosy fresh look check it out okay so something else you can do is make sure that you have nice full eyebrows when you're younger your eyebrows are nice and full and bushy and you haven't done any over plucking at that point you're not having these sharp lines i don't wax my eyebrows i pluck very infrequently if my hairs want to grow i'm going to let them grow the revlon color stay brow corrector it's one good one and then i just ordered this one and i love it too la girls shady slim brow pencil in espresso i think that it will probably age you a little bit if you go too crazy with the drawing you like you know some people will take their eyebrows and they literally like draw it and then they draw the bottom and then they fill it in just take the pencil and do short like strokes up just i mean i already did mine but I'm just showing you what I do. Just up, 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 and you go all the way. Stroke up, and use the other side. Brush, brush, brush them up. Tinted brow mascara, and just brush them up. I don't even brush them down at all. Like Some people will fix them, but I think they kind of naturally fall a little bit, so I brush them up. I've already done it, so spray it with hairspray, and brush your eyebrows up, keep them in place. You're going to want to make sure your eyelashes look nice and full and long. And I'm gonna show you my tricks on how I do that. Now, I've gotten fake lashes before. First of all, I look like Minnie Mouse. That's one. Number two, and I don't wanna look like Minnie Mouse. <laughs> no, thank you, okay? And number two, when the lashes 
come out, they take your eyelashes with them. At night, just take some castor oil on another, on a, I'm telling you, this spoolie, get yourself, I'm gonna link this in my description box. This is like such a good tool for everything. Um, get a spoolie, put the castor oil, brush up your eyebrows and your lashes every night, they will grow. Then when you go to put your mascara on, you're going to curl, then, you're going to put on a clear mascara so you can keep that curl. Put it on immediately after you curl so it stays. Then, a different spoolie. And I take a powder, run the spoolie in it, on your lashes, get the powder up in there. It's just a translucent pressed powder or you can use a loose powder, it doesn't matter. And then just get it in there and brush up right after you put your clear mascara on. You're gonna see that's gonna fatten your lashes. Then you put on your very best mascara. Is bad gal bang on? I get up in the root, get up in that root. If you're going to use powder on your face, get an expensive one. I think Laura Mercier has the best pressed powder. I would not use loose powder anymore. Dippity do, get it all over. The more powder you use, the older you're gonna look. Bottom line. Another really great trick to keep you looking young is make yourself a beautiful cat eye. I think a cat eye helps to lift your eye. For the most part, you're not gonna see me with any sort of eyeliner in my waterline at the bottom. You don't necessarily want to have dark liner. It really does age you. Ramel Nude Eyeliner. You put it in your waterline. Let's see how it looks. It helps to brighten your eyes and it keeps you looking your eyes bright, wide-eyed, so the nude liner is key. You have to find your signature lip color, like a pinky, peachy, mauve color. It just is such a pretty look. It's not harsh. You need to wear some sort of lipstick, though. If you don't wear any lipstick, I'm not big on just nudes, because a nude lipstick is not gonna brighten your face, and it adds warmth to your skin color, which is a sign of youth. And one of my go-to combinations is Huda Beauty in Rendezvous. It's got that gorgeous pinky mauve. Look at that, mmm, okay? And then um, I use either Revlon Sienna or I'm really kind of obsessed with the Huda Beauty Trophy Wife lip liner. See that? So pretty. I popped it over the red that I already had. I just blotted the red a little bit, so you can't quite get the effect, but a lot of my other videos, I am wearing this combination. It's so beautiful, and it gives you just that warmth you need, but it's not that super bold lip either. If you're not gonna use a powder, you have to use something to keep your makeup on, and this is what I found to be the very best for aging skin. Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. You want something with a real fine mist. Let me tell you, I mean, this is the stuff. It makes all of your makeup, even if you want a little heavy handed, it looks a little cakey. It kind of brings that cake down and just makes you look perfect. If you want to see something specific from me, put it in the comment section. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell because I'm going to upload more videos. Thank you so much for joining me and hopefully I see you soon. Bye.